Hey, welcome back to another video. I uh, I'm I, this. I bought this a while back. I had a in one of my pickup videos. I uh, you know, wanted to watch this movie. Well, I'm on vacation tomorrow, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pop this in. But uh, this is one of my old classics. I'm gonna start doing uh, uploads on some of my old classics, and it's gonna be uh, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm gonna break the seal, and I'm uh, you know, tell you guys about this movie. I watched this movie a long time ago. I got sentimental memories. This movie, uh, it's 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 an old classic, but uh, it uh, originally um, this movie is uh, I don't know what year it came out, but uh, uh, the night the Earth never will forget, based on a true uh, story by acclaimed writer Ray Bradbury. It came from outer space, starring Richard Carlson and Barbara Rush in a science fiction science fiction classic that is thought provoking and tantalizing today as it was when it first landed on the silver screen. <clears throat> when amateur astronomer John Putman Carlson, uh, John Putman Carlson and his fiance Ellen Fields Rush are stargazing in the desert, a spaceship bursts into the sky and crashes on the ground. Just before a landslide buried the ship, a mysterious creature emerges and disappears into the darkness. Of course, when he tells this story to the sheriff, which is the sheriff is played by Charles Drake, John is branded as a crackpot before long, strength, long strange, before long, Strange things begin to happen, but will the tide of disbelief turn in time? So, I remember watching this movie way back in the day, and uh, I'm surprised it doesn't have the time when the, the movie was released. But anyway, I'm going to pop it in, and uh, uh, yeah, you guys, I'm going to start doing some different stuff on here, but uh, I wish they had the... The, when it got released, but uh, I'm breaking the seal right now, and I'm gonna pop it in my. Uh, I'm gonna pop it in my. Uh, I'm gonna pop it in my Xbox. Uh, but I like to see on the back. What time is? It? Okay, I'm doing good on time. I like to see on the back when this was first released, but it's not saying. Uh, that's crazy, man. You know, normally I have all this stuff on here, but. The, Okay, 1953. Uh, this came out in 1953. I was born in 59, so this movie wasn't... Uh, it wasn't... Uh, you know, I wasn't born yet. Uh, but anyway, I'm breaking the seal. I'm trying to do something different on this channel because I'm going to pop this in my... Uh, my 4K... Uh, you know... My Xbox Series X. and You know, it's, uh, it's a good piece of machine... Uh, you know, I got playing video games, but you know, obviously, y'all know y'all can play uh, movies and stuff on uh, your PS5 and uh, you know, your Xbox Series X. So, uh, I, Microsoft is not really uh, buy, uh, Microsoft's not really invested in uh, you know, physicals like they do. They want you to go all digital, which I know that's the way of the future, so I get it, you know, as far as uh, you know, trying to buy uh you know digital and stuff a lot of people a lot of people they they just think it's just much easier to uh and you know it is easier to just you know hit the uh display button and uh you know go from there but uh it's kind of weird man i'm sitting here right on camera and i would think that opening this up would not be this hard but here it is i'm struggling on camera trying to open up this cellophane which is good because one thing for sure, you ain't got to worry about it. Uh, I should have got a knife before I started shooting. I'm just trying to do something different on this channel, man, you know? Because you guys, as much as I work, and much as I work out and keep this house, this apartment clean, and, you know, it's the cost of living and trying to buy food, and, and my rent got jacked up twice, and, you know, I'm trying to work my butt off just to stay afloat. But there she is. I just broke the seal, and... Uh, Nothing, uh, you know, really, but uh, that's the disc, and uh, 
But yeah, I'm going to pop this in and uh, I'm going to watch it and then uh, I'll give you guys my little take. It's got the... Uh, it's got the Blu-ray too, so that's why I'm, I do like that part. It's got the Blu-ray, and uh, but uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites. You got uh, folks, uh, you know, when I when I was growing up, uh, God bless my mom. So I used to watch a lot of this stuff when she was alive, because you know I grew up in the uh, you know '60s and '70s and '78 uh, is when I graduated, and then, you know that's when my life took off. I was on my own and stuff, man. And, couldn't wait to get out there on my own and experience life and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, I just broke the seal on this. But, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a uh, quick unboxing and uh, breaking the seal. And, uh, yeah, it's in good shape. It's a 4K and the Blu-ray. And uh, I will let you guys know how this is. And, and, and I just want to put this out there. I got 73 subscribers. And, boy, you guys are really surprising me. Sometimes I think about getting rid of this YouTube channel and, I remember I had my old channel, which was called Total Topics. I really miss it. And uh, I remember I got it. My son said, man, Dad, I can't believe you deleted that. You got up to 62 subscribers. I said, yeah, I just wanted to start from the ground floor. I kind of missed that. I wish I could have brought it back, but I can't. Because once you want, YouTube says when you delete something, you can't get it back. So anyway, I have officially beaten that record. Uh, of my. I said, I like to beat the record of... Uh, 60 i think i had like 66 or 65 subscribers on that channel and that went from zero to 65 which is it which is pretty crazy man but uh you know now i'm at 73 which is shocking because every time i turn on i was like wow i got another uh subscriber so i thank all of y'all for subscribing to my channel i'm a little rough but i just want to stay you know just be myself and mistakes and all even when i read and i mispronounce pronounce stuff where i have to reread something because i'm not reading it right but anyway i'm gonna pop this in and i'm gonna watch it and hopefully i don't fall asleep because it is uh 20 minutes till 10 but i got a vacation day tomorrow but you know you guys i will tell you this always even the people that are super young out there try your best to um uh, Get some form of physical media, you know. If your internet ever goes down or something like that, you ain't got to worry about having the internet to play. You just pop this in and you can just play it. You don't need no internet to play a DVD. I don't know why a lot of people don't, you know, understand that. I get it, you know. You, oh, you know, digital, you can just turn it on and boom, there it is. It's, but, you know, I got to go in the living room and I got to pop this in. And I got to play it. And I got, I got, I got, I got inserted, and I, I'm gonna hit play. But anyway, that's all I got. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm just doing the breaking of the seal, and uh, you know, like I said, I'm reading the back. The night, the earth never will forget. And and reason, it's, this is a little long because I just wanted to tell you guys how much I uh, enjoy. Uh, yeah, it says 1953. Universal Picture and Company, and then renewed 1981 by Universal City Studios, all right, reserved. So, yeah, it definitely came out in 1953, but, uh, you know, when you watch stuff like this, I, I'm into classics, and I'm into all kinds of stuff, and, uh, uh, you know, the people that's, I guess they call them millennials or something like that, and then you got a new one, uh, I'm a baby boomer kind of kid kid growing up so but anyway you guys i will put out tomorrow i will give you my short review and see if i still enjoy it like i did uh when i first watched it uh as a kid and i watched it about i think 12 or 13 years ago when my my boys and my daughter and them was little i came across this oh man i remember this i love that you know so anyway god bless and uh yeah i will let you guys know how this is tomorrow we'll catch you later